Hello everybody, it's Charles from the Thrifty Deegans, and today we're finishing up these shoes. So, this has been a three-part series. Oh, we got a thread-up box of shoes. Uh, I think there's 15, maybe there's only 14. Um, as far as possible, there's 16. Um, not really great at counting uh, things I can't see. So, we're just going to go through and finish off this box. And up first, we have a pair of Madewell. Uh, yep, focus. We have a pair of Madewell heels. Uh, now, I know I mention this all the time, but there's the zipper on the side style that is uh, um, probably going to see, that I'm probably going to see um, a couple pairs of this coming uh, week when I go to uh, Thanksgiving. Because <laughs> um, it seems like everybody in my family loves this particular style. Um, now, this... These particular shoes are, um, I think they're size, I think that's a size 9, but it could be a size 6. Um, so, don't know. I think that's a 9, though. They should put a line. They should really put a line underneath it to let me know, to let me know which side is the bottom. Um, anyway, uh, they're made well shoes. Um, they seem to be in pretty good condition. Um, now, I don't think... Oh, oh, okay, so they are leather upper and leather lining, uh, made in China. So these are real leather shoes. Um, so they're made well and they're real leather, so that should definitely, definitely help them, uh, that should definitely help them sell. And, of course, since they have the side zipper, gotta check to make sure it works. And it does. All right. Moving right along. Uh, we have... This, there it is. Almost couldn't find the um, other shoe. Um, these are a pair of Dulis Vita. Dulis Vita. And they're a pair of heels. Um, now they don't have any kind of straps or zippers, so although they do have this, um, this part here is some kind of elastic or probably elastic band, um, so they do kind of stretch out a little bit for you to get your foot in there. Um, and they'll bend a little bit while you're walking so they won't be too uncomfortable. Now, hmm, I'm just looking in these and it looks like the soles... Nope, it's just... That's just the stuffing I have in there um, to keep them in shape. I thought the soles were discolored. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, um... I'm not sure exactly what materials these are uh, because all I have in here is that they are size 11 and made in China and that's am I even showing that on camera? Uh, no, it's not even showing up. Um, so they're size 11. Now they do have this sticker on the bottom um, which I believe that top symbol means that the outer shell is leather. Um, and the um, inside and the soles are, um, those would be man-made materials. Um, I think the diamond means man-made and the little like thing that kind of looks like a, a bearskin rug is a, uh, means it's leather. So possibly leather, possibly leather shells, um, definitely man-made materials on the bottom and, um, on the, on the um, inside. All right. Let's see, what do we have next? Ah, let's see one. Up next, we have these B and B Greek leather shoes. So once again, we find ourselves with some leather. And if we look at this, um, looking at the sticker, we see that same symbol. We see. Well, yeah, it's only on this shoe. So we see the uh, leather symbol and a little arrow pointing to the top, meaning this strap and the little toe strap right there. Um, we see leather pointing to, um, appears to be pointing to like just the insides, which in this case would just be the inside of the strap, which doesn't surprise me that if the outside's leather, the inside's also leather. Um, and then 
we see on the bottom it has that diamond which i believe means man-made materials or maybe yeah probably man-made or it's just um not any notable material um so we have some more leather uh, apparently this uh apparently towards the bottom of this box is just leather um now these do have this metal um this metal part on top which i guess lets it kind of bend i don't want to bend it too much because i don't want to uh accidentally break it but i guess that would be that flexible piece would let it keep the shape of your foot and then it has the little loop for your uh, toe um so you can keep it secured to a single toe i guess that's probably more comfortable than a thong um, i don't know now i'm not familiar with the brand um but I assume it's Greek because they are Greek leather shoes. And that would play into the idea that that strap right there is leather. So another pair of leather shoes. Let's see if this trend continues. I don't think it will. These are soft. Um, another pair of soft wedges. Um, I guess I think these would be considered a mule. Um, because they don't actually go around the back. Um, so, yeah, I think if it doesn't go on the back, it's considered a mule. Um, and also wedge, because there's no space between the, um, the ball of the foot and the heel. So, a nice pair of black shoes. Um, oh, and in keeping with the running theme we have on this channel, I will point out the flower pattern on the bottom. Um, yeah, so that would leave a very distinct footprint. Um, now I don't think these had a size on them, so I'm sure when my wife reshot them, because she didn't like the job I did, she measured them. So she probably knows exactly how, how big they are. I do not. All right, and the last item in this box is... Probably one of the better items, um, all things considered. It is this pair of Tory Burch ballet slippers. Um, now, Tory Burch is one of the better brands that we have. Um, we've gotten it. We've gotten Tory Burch shoes. We've gotten Tory Burch shirts. Um, all of it has been able to. Uh, or I guess most of it. I think there's one item that one Tory Burch item that we haven't sold. Um, I think came from like oddly enough a thread up box. It really well, this came from a thread up box, so it's not that weird. Um, anyway, Tory Birch is a very good brand. Um, it's something that we tend to sell um, for um, around, I'd say it's in the $40, $50 range when we do sell it. Um, so very happy to be getting a pair of a pair of Tory Birches. Um, especially the shoes. The shoes whoops. Oh, <laughs> The shoes um, do tend to sell a little bit higher than any than um, anything else. So these should net us a pretty good profit. And these alone might net us a profit that can pay for this entire box. Um, I think that the it was roughly two dollars a pair. I think the box was yeah the box was around thirty bucks. So um, at two dollars a pair, yeah, we could probably get enough profit off of just these shoes to pay for the whole box. Um, Maybe. I don't know. Perhaps because they're ballet slippers, they won't sell for as much. But there's other stuff in here that will sell, including a lot of leather. A lot of leather. That's hard to say. Um, now, like the last pair of shoes, I do not see a size anywhere on these, but my wife did reshoot them. She, I'm sure she measured them. So we now have, um, we have the measurements in the list. All right, and that does it for the shoe box. Um, now this um, this is a pretty good shoe box. Um, we had a couple pairs of boots in there. We had a lot of lot of uh, le leather stuff there at the end, and we had a pair of Tory Burches. Um, so all in all, a pretty good um, a pretty good collection of shoes. Um, so I I think we'll definitely make a profit on this, um, and I think it's not going to be a 
It's not going to be a wait around and eventually we'll make a profit box. It's going to be a we're going to make a profit box and then we just wait around to see if we make even more, which is great. <laughs> All right. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, all that stuff's below. You know how to use YouTube. I don't have to tell you. Until next time, I'm Charles. I'll see you.